All right, guys. Welcome to React to PT. Unfortunately, I could not get my hands on this game. I believe the day I purchased my PlayStation 4 is the day they pulled this game off of the PlayStation Network. And that really bummed me out because I was looking forward to this game. And this game was canceled. Now there is a specific reason why this game was canceled. Not because it sucked or anything. Well, let's not get into that. Let's just take in the ambience of this game. And let's listen to the radio. This brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. Alright, I think the voice actor for the radio is not American, because we Americans don't say 9-11, we say 911. But that's okay. His voice is still amazing. Man, this game is so good. It's 23:59 or 11:59 for you guys who don't know what 23:59 is. It's 1 minute before the bewitching hour and all the adult themed TV series come on you know what I'm talking about Mad TV who, who, who watched Mad TV back in the days with uh, what was that one Asian guy that's hilarious Bobby not no it's not Bobby Hill that the not the Asian guy named Bobby Hill it's Bobby, not Bobby Sanchez, Bobby Lee, yes, Bobby Lee is an amazing comedian, I love that guy, let's, let's get back on track, we're trying to get scared here, not talk about Bobby Lee, greatest comedian of our generation, no, we're trying to get spooked. Timmy, Timmy, you locked in there? Have you tried opening the door? Because you did lock yourself in the car. I don't know how you locked yourself inside the car, but you did it, and we had to call the police, and it was all embarrassing, and it's all up on the internet. I hate you camera phones. Revealing the truth of this world. Can't go anywhere without these cameras. Okay, so the door started to move, and the door at the very end of the hall is closed, and I can't get through that door, so... Man. Well, somebody has opened the door for me. I like the way how your vision goes out of focus when you look down hallways or you, or you jerk your head 
a little too fast. Well, hello. Somebody knocking at the door. Maybe a demon from hell? Satan, that you? It could be. Or it could be his brother, Lucifer. Or Beelzebub. Oh, Beelzebub is not related to Lucifer and all the other. He's his own separate demon. He's like one of the barons of hell. I forget the mythology, but... Beelzebub and Azazel and all that. Very interesting stuff if you ever look it up. So the door shut on me and it's raining even harder outside. Ah. So that room, whatever that room is, Yeah, there's a lot of roaches on the ground. Man, I love to step on roaches just to make them make that scrunch sound. Oh, that's annoying. It's creepy and annoying, but more annoying. That was a jump scare that wasn't very scary. Anyway, the reason why babies annoy me when they when they cry. I know it's supposed to be cute and oh, it's the spring of life. If you are the elder of your family and you have other siblings, you had to go through the torment of a baby crying. Or if you have a baby in general, you have to go through the torment of them crying not be, and not be able to shut them up. Oh, great. Somebody else is crying, too. Oh. Okay. You must be from the bathroom, the one that shut the door in my face. Yeah, this is a lot more creepier than just you jump scaring me through the door crack. I go forward? Mm, I'm weighing my options here. Yeah, let's, let's just go back this way. Because we might be doing something wrong. I don't think we're supposed to go past this apparition. This specter. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem right. Somehow the roaches are telling me don't go down the hall. It's like you're gonna die, man. I get it. The roaches were making a mirage of a specter. Ah! Roaches these days getting all mythical, I mean, not mythical, mystical with their arts. It's like we lived on this planet before you humans ever came along. Of course, we know the mystic arts. Door open. There's a light in here. Oh, it's a flashlight. And more roaches. Is it weird of me every time I'm staring at those roaches like, oh, I could throw some batter on them and make a nice meal. What? In other countries, they eat roaches just fine. What, because I'm not in that country doesn't make them not delicious? Come on. <laughs> 
Ouch, shut your face! Look, even, even somebody else thinks that you're annoying. Come on, I'll help you open the door. Oh my god, shut up! Oh, it stopped crying. You know, I just realized something. I'm never gonna have a kid. What I'm going to do is adopt a three-year-old. Get all this baby garbage out of the way. Just have a kid already running around, bumping its head on coffee tables, losing teeth. You know, I have to take it to the doctor because it gets a ear infection. Boy, kids love ear infections. They love ear infection as much as they like candies. Just get them all the time. Hmm. So what I'm piecing together here by that scene right there, the specter must be the mother of that fetus in the sink there. Because why would it try to come in to the bathroom when the fetus started crying? Ah, uh, you're right. It's probably just as as annoyed as me listening to that thing. Whoa! Did you see that? That's a very nice touch. That's not my shadow. It's twitching. It looks like a glitch, but it's not. It must be the specter. Okay, you can't trust the tap water. Twenty forty eight sixty three. Is there any meaning to this? That's creepy, but there was nothing behind me. Could have at least made something squeak or twitch. There's nothing down the hall. You're a liar. Liar radio. Mm. Is something supposed to happen or am I supposed to go down the hall again? No. Door slightly cracked, but I don't think I can get in there. Not at all. I thought the uh, apparition, or the specter, was going to show up. That would have been great. I like the, the, the design of it. How you can't... Well, you did see its face when you... when it jump scared me, but I like how the lighting was hitting its face and you couldn't really see the features. You can only see the silhouette of the specter. That makes it creepy. It is getting a lot darker. Somebody's cutting off the power. Or maybe I didn't pay my bill. Whatever. Sounds like the radio is repeating itself. Can't trust the tap water. The next thing will be the numbers and then look behind you nope can't get out 